Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle, and you have arrived here at part three of the big shoebox haul. And uh, what we're looking at here is things that we found in part two. And uh, if you want to see that video, click the channel icon below and you'll go to my channel and you can find all of my videos there. But I'll put uh, all the parts to certain hauls into playlists so that it's easy to watch all of them in a row. Anyway, let's dig into the big shoe box that I have off to the side here and see what else we can find today. Let's get this in a little tighter so we can stay in the light. And there we go. Okay, so first of all, here's a necklace. So it's black seed beads, multi-strand with a button closure just with this disc of shell. Um, it's got kind of a zebra vibe going on there, but uh, yeah, just a piece of shell there with a couple of wood beads at the base. It's in great condition, no chips or anything like that. And here's another necklace. This one's kind of interesting because it's strung on uh, a chain. These are plastic beads. That's kind of something I would have thought would be uh, with glass, maybe? But anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about, obviously. But these are really cool. <laughs> Very cool beads on here. Let's do a little bead tour and see. Yeah, so they have got this sort of pinkish tone to them and that black design looks like it's throughout, like it's speckled throughout the bead. These ones are just plain clear, um, but a little bit of a rosy tone to them too, just slightly. This is the clasp here. It's pretty. It doesn't say gold. I don't see any kind of maker mark there. Yeah, some more of these, another one like that. These ones are just faceted slightly, again, clear kind of dusty rose. That one's got kind of a cat's eye thing going on. And a different shape, same material. These ones are super cool with a swirl. They remind me of like a seashell fossil. Yeah, that's what that is. Cute. I don't mind it. It's got some nice colors. And the fact that it's on a chain instead of string just sort of makes me think it's a, a little bit of a better quality. Here's one of those slide adjusting cord um, necklaces. There was something that used to hang out of here and now it's gone. So that'll go into a lot for sure. This, oh, this is cool. And I might have to wear it. I gotta back up a little bit for this, I guess, here. Let's see. All right, this is the center of it. And yes, okay, let's start back here. So that's an older kind of clasp. This is uh, a vintage necklace for sure. These are brass, big brass ball beads. <laughs> And these are made with shell, like a mother of pearl, sort of cushion style. Um, really big, really long, gigantic. Let me lay it down and see if I can give you a different view of it here. There we go. It's awesome. I love it. I do. <laughs> So let's see, anything on the back that, uh, again, I would imagine somebody would put their name on this, but I don't see anything in the brass. No. Hmm. Interesting. I think that's super neat. I have to wear that one. Once, once or twice, perhaps. So, let's see. What else? Purple. Here we go. 
some plastic post earrings with a swirly purple and gold trim. Very cool, very 80s looking. Like posh 80s, you know. These are another pair. No, these feel plastic. One of them is missing um, the post on the back, but that's easily fixed. They're a resin or acrylic or plastic or something. <laughs> really pretty color as well. Metallic, rainbow, seahorses, and they're kissing. Mwah. Yeah, lightweight, probably easy to wear. The lady I got these from must have a long neck because a lot of these hang really long. And here's another pair. I really like these ones actually. Black enamel paint and bronze sort of fan. Hmm. And that sort of art deco y. This shape up here, anyway, to me is. And the fan shape often is. No marks on the back. That looks like a pretty nice quality older pair. Like those. Ooh, these look like they've seen better days. Let's take a look. Yeah, they are quite heavy. <laughs> and they have some mess on them for sure. Let's take a better look at that. So I wonder if that's a vertigray or if it's just the bronze, you know, oxidizing. So I would try and clean them. They are heavy and solid like they're, I think they're a good quality earring if you can bring them back to life. <laughs> They are a clip-on, and they've got this yeah, e cushion kind of thing. They squeeze very hard. I definitely couldn't wear them, but they look like they could be something, you know? They are substantial uh, weapons. Okay, now what else do we have? There's a pin. Feels like it's made of paper again, like maybe with a glue over top of it and glitter. Peeling apart. Some sort of home craft. Oh, here's another one of these bracelets. We found one in the last haul there. Uh, in part two, it's losing its elasticity just as badly and is probably about to explode on me. And here's another pearl strand, faux pearl strand. Let's see. Yeah, definitely faux. Um, but if they're nice. It's a nice length. Shorter, um, creamy colored pearl. And there's the clasp, has a little rhinestone on it. And some pattern. And just to be sure, let's make sure we don't have a mark for gold or anything here. You just never know. Nope. But that's a nice simple strand that uh, is a good staple piece to just have in your collection. Here's another pair of button earrings. Big, high, domed, pearl, toned, pearlescent clip-ons. No marks. They're quite heavy. I don't think they are hollow. Let's drink the water here. And what's next? Yeah. Well, let's grab these guys here. Button style. Snake skin. Snake. You know, I think it's real. The way the scales feel like they're lifting. I think those are real snakeskin earrings. Somebody tell me otherwise. I would like to know that it's not, but anyway, I think it might be. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, these ones are standing out. I like these. I wonder. 
Like I, I like I like clip on earrings, but I find after two hours I have to take them out. They're squeezing and it starts to hurt. And maybe that's something you get used to if you do it more often. But um, I I think these are fun anyway. I would totally wear them if I could. Maybe I'll try one day, see what happens. Go for half of the day decorated. Hmm, let's see, what else can we find in here? Here's another watch. This is kind of cool. Gold strap digital, like a lady's digital watch. It's engraved. Love, Dave, <laughs> which is cute because that's my dad's name. And it says up at the top there, it's a Seiko. And it's really scratched up and everything, but it's in nice condition otherwise. Like the strap is really pretty. Um, there's somewhere back here. Not too bad. Seiko. Japan. I'll definitely look that one up. There's been a couple of watches that I, before I put them into the watch bag, I'm going to spend a little bit of time looking for information. This is a bracelet. It's got a lot of wood beads, coconut beads, and shells. And this is broken on this side. I mean, it just needs to be retied, but it's a meant to go toggle style. Big old bead bracelet. And what are you? Here's a little chain bracelet. I don't know the name of that link. I've got a few places where I can find the name of that link, but I don't know it offhand. And then it's got these three circles um, with rhinestones all around which I think is pretty cute, say, for a mum with two, two kids or something like that. Either way, it's just dainty and cute. No marks or anything, but cute nonetheless. <clears throat> Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh my god, these are big. Holy, look at these. Hmm, gold tone. It's raised and carved or whatever there. There's a lot of detail. And these baubles are plastic, frosted plastic with this gold tone wire wrap action going around them. Very bendable. I see it's crooked and it's easily manipulated. Plastic up here, it's not metal. It is a clip-on. It says made in Italy. On the inside there. So those are some Italian costume fashion earrings. Pretty. And next, here's another bracelet. Gold tone beads as well, also losing a lot of its elasticity. They're all from the same set and therefore they're all the same age and the same amount of wear. Makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple of more items here and then I'm gonna have to sort all of the earrings. Plus I have a few goodies, um, like special pieces that I have found along the way and put aside. So we're gonna have to do another part here for sure. Um, potentially two. I'll try not to make it two, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, uh, click like, leave a comment, share the video. That would be awesome. And join me on the next one. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll talk to you soon.